Hey guys, today I have made a discovery, a realization. You know that $25,000 car Tesla has always been teasing about? Like, oh, we're gonna make a cheaper model. Um, there might be a $25,000 car coming. There is this sketch of a photo of Tesla's $25,000 new model. Yeah, maybe it might not be coming, but Tesla will have a $25 car. So some of you will ask, how does that happen? How would it be possible? Do you remember when Tesla said that, mm, I think in the future we would like to cut our costs by 50%. Remember that? If you do, then I've discovered something. When I was doing the math, which of course I was watching some other guy and reading some other guy's document and videos, but Hear me out, I did the math. And Tesla might not need to create a new model, go through all those trouble in the middle of um, inflation to recession while having the, the supply chain problem, which they kind of solved, but also while they are trying to make the 4680 work. And also there is the full self-driving, which they should use all their focus on because if they got the full self-driving to work, they will dominate the market, which is not shocking, but they might be able to do it if they manage to cut costs by 50%, which is what they're trying to do. Okay, just imagine the Model 3, the cheapest model Tesla have right now, $42,000. Let's cut off 20%, which is the margin, and then divide it by 50. After you cut off the margin, 20% should be around 34,000. 34,000 divided by 2 is 17,000. 17,000, um, let's just say if Tesla wants the margin to go up by 5%, maybe 25%, it could be 20%, but let's just say it's 25%. Now, your car will be sold at 22,000. Really, it is really interesting. I mean, think about it. This would benefit a lot of people because Tesla wants to target the low price market. They at the same time want to cut costs so they can make more cars and more people can buy. If more people can buy, that's more demand as well. So if this works, and I'm not sure how they're gonna achieve it in the current position that we are in and they are in, which I don't think it might be so soon, probably one or two years later but if they were to make a new model I doubt they will come up in one or two years later So, because they're really in the middle of something right now and as well I've made a video in the past it was a long time ago but um, I did mention about how it is not a main focus and not a main need for Tesla to make a new model some of you could say that oh they should really target the lower price market but if this works then they might have solved the problem personally i do believe that they might make a new model in the future like really towards the future maybe when they completed robo taxi which is quite far away maybe they'll just make another model i'm not sure i do wish to see another model but if they don't, it won't be a big problem if they make this happen. Of course, there are like $15,000 um, EV vehicle out there probably in China, maybe perhaps. But $22,000 for quality car, Tesla, you know, with the brand with it. I think, I think it'll work pretty well. $22,000, $25,000, there you go, your $25,000 car delivered. It's great, right? And also I want to mention, which is probably irrelevant to the title of this video, but it's also good to know that Tesla has bring back their satellite for their, for their self-driving. Some of you could say, oh, it's a bad news because they would say that vision is impossible. I would doubt it because to be honest, maybe Tesla never intended to take out the satellite in the first place. They just want to see if it's possible to do it without the satellite, but they have always intended to put back the satellite because 
the ceiling light has not a bad thing. It's not a bad thing because it works. It works well. Vision is probably lower cost compared to merging them together and probably way more convenient. But maybe Tesla never mean to exclude it. But they just want to have one more super advanced technology. Who knows? Anyways, if you learned anything out of this video and you enjoyed it, like and subscribe. Comment down below if you disagree, agree, or you have any opinion, or you want me to talk about something else. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.